Bees attack drone ultimately because they're searching for food and they hear your drone making low frequency vibrations. That's one thing that makes bees sort of go into attack mode and kind of threat mode and they, they want to go check it out. So they go out, they check it out, and this is where the vicious circle of death happens. Now I've seen this loads of times and all you can do is land as quickly as possible because bees are our friends. But what happens is they come over, they see your drone or they, they feel the vibrations, they come over and the downdraft starts to agitate them. The downdraft from the drone, i.e. the air that it's forcing downwards, agitates your uh, the bees and then they decide that they're going to attack. Now they stand little to no chance against these kind of polymer uh, molded plastic uh, propellers. And if you've got carbon fiber ones, they definitely stand no chance. And so they go in to attack the drone and they just simply get chopped up. Um, and when they get chopped up, bees release a pheromone which causes other bees around them to start to attack. And they attack and it gets worse and worse and worse until essentially all of the bees that have decided to attack the drone are dead. And that is terrible. So um, like I said, it's happened to me probably about five times. And uh, look, honeybees normally, if you land, if you get as close to the ground as possible, they tend to disappear, at least that's my experience. Or you just fly away, go land as quickly as possible. They are very unlikely to follow your drone um, to the point of, you know, to over a kilometer. So just return to where you took off land, um, unless they are Africanized bees, and then they will chase for ages. But I don't think we have any of those in Australia. This video is based on an article on droneflyingpro.com. Go check it out because not only did I have a look to see why bees attack drones, but I looked at the science of bees. You know, that was actually pretty interesting. It's a drone blog, but I got to look about bees and the science of bees. So um, I looked at uh, what actually causes them to attack, how they attack, and also some interesting research where they're using the fact that drones are like bees with elephants. Hmm, go check it out. Honeybees the regular, normal honeybees that produce delicious honey travel between one and six kilometers away from their hive. Now, they can travel up to 20 kilometers, but that's pretty rare. But um, while they're out and about, not only are they looking for pollen and flowers, but they're also looking for threats to their hive. So if they come across your drone, they're gonna take a closer look. Now, I saw a study where there were a range of different things that, uh, bees are attracted to in terms of thinking they are a threat. And your drone probably ticks two of them. Those two are low frequency vibrations and uh, color, dark colors actually encourage bees to attack as well. Now, if you've got something like me, like the DJI Mavic Air, um, you can see that it's dark and that obviously it would produce very low uh, frequency vibrations. Now the thing is, is that the Mavic Air sounds much more like bees than the bigger Pro or the Mavic Air 2. Um, this one has got a very high pitched sound, but still that is enough to attract bees. Um, in fact, if you've got a bigger drone like the Pro, the Phantom, that sort of stuff, they sound more like bees. And we'll talk about that in a little minute when it comes to uh, yeah, elephants in fact. But when they are attracted, they sort of head on over. And like I said in the beginning, that starts the vicious downward spiral of uh, massacre for the bees, which is terrible. We don't want that. Um, but there is also very limited evidence. I found a scientific study where um, it looked at the evidence for bees being attracted to electromagnetic radiation. It's limited, I'm not sure we can say it for sure. Go check out the article to uh, see that study. But essentially your drone is constantly in contact via electromagnetic radiation with the controller. Um, and also, you know, it is just um, always sensing, always putting out signals. So the fact that the motors are whirring, that produces electromagnetic radiation as well. So yes, all of those things can mean that your drone is a honeypot <laughs> to bees to come and investigate. 
Um, so yes, that is why they come over. Honeybees in particular, we wanna protect them, so land as quickly as possible. That is literally the only thing that has really um, helped when my drone is being attacked by bees. Yes. Now I found a study, it was a pretty interesting study. Um, it was from Drake University and what they were doing is using drones to have a look at elephants. So they were going out looking at elephants with drones and then they started to notice this one thing. Elephants were picking up dust and chucking it in the air. Now they only do that with bees because they do not like bees. They don't be like being attacked by bees. They understand, I guess, that bees are not a good thing to have around. And so when they heard a drone, they started this behavior that they've only seen elephants do with bees. And they found that the DJI Phantom series drones sound most like bees to the elephants, i.e. they were chucking up loads more dust when there was a DJI Phantom series drone being used for conservation efforts. Now that means that in the future they could potentially use drones to kind of herd elephants away from poachers or into conservation areas, um, but it's just interesting to me that to animals a drone can sound more like bees and get more I guess, uh, action and response from those animals. So if you are flying a DJI Phantom Series drone, just be aware that the low frequency vibration does in fact sound like a swarm of bees. And I reckon that the low frequency vibrations of the DJI Phantom Series drones would be even more attractive to bees to come and look at, even though it's not dark color. Yes. So cleaning your drone after a bee attack is something you do have to do. I've done it probably five times with this drone and uh, all I can say is you have to go very carefully and slowly and you have to make sure that you don't get water into any of the vents um, and also bee guts and bee stuff is very sticky. So I start with a um, lightly soaked and very lightly sort of dampened cloth on the propellers and I just check the leading edge of the propellers to make sure that there hasn't been any sort of uh, uh, chips or any cracks sort of um, put into the propellers and I use my thumbnail to or any other nail to be honest across all of the edges but the leading edge is the attacking edge where it's kind of sliced up the, the bee and the exoskeleton can in fact cause some damage so use a nail just after you've cleaned it, just run your nail along that leading edge to check it. That's what I do, number one. Um, you can take off the propellers as well. If you do notice any cracks, any issues, any sort of staining, anything that could cause any issues during flight, just change the propellers. They're relatively inexpensive compared to replacing the whole drone body or an arm, for example, if it crashes. Um, and then what I do is I turn my attention to the body. Now, the way that propellers move, it normally sort of splatters the bee guts onto the body because that is where essentially the kind of, you know, the, the blades pass. So using a cotton bud or a toothpick, um, I make sure that I focus on the vents. The vents are very important because that is what lets out all of the hot air as the drone is working, all of the heat that's built up from the electronics, that is where it's released. So I make sure to get a toothpick and just remove all of the bee guts from the actual inside the holes of the vents, that's very important. Um, and then I use a cloth and, and clean off the bee guts inside. I'm very careful around the gimbal, but I find that there's not much bee guts on the gimbal because the propellers aren't anywhere near the gimbal or the camera. So I've normally just found that it's on the body and the propellers and the arms and then just making sure that you get up into all of the little crevices, all of the little um, sort of joints and folds if you have got a folding drone. But um, yeah, make sure that your drone is completely dry before you turn it back on and it's very simple. So hot soapy water and some isopropyl alcohol if you're finding that the, the uh, bee is leaving sticky stuff that you cannot remove with just soap and water alone. But be very careful with water near your drone because it can damage it. So if in doubt, get yourself some isopropyl alcohol. You can buy it, I think, at most hardware stores. So there we are. There are all of the reasons why bees attack Drones, let me know in the comments what you would add to that list and if you have had any experience with bees attacking your drone. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it and give it a share, that would be awesome. I shall see you in the next video.